Hello, you're watching Lin TV, your local internet news station from Papos. I'm Lucy Mobson with the main stories today. Cuba's new ambassador to Cyprus paid a visit to Paphos today where he spoke with Mayor Savas Vergas about cultural cooperation. There are also plans for Fidel Vascos, who has expertise in finance, to deliver a lecture on the economic crisis. Less than two weeks before its ceremonial opening, the final passenger processing trial took place at the new Paphos International Airport today. 1,000 people passed through departures and arrivals on false tickets to destinations such as Amsterdam, Edinburgh and Stansted Airport. Participant, lucky Paphos pensioner Molly Kilthi, won 5,000 euros in a prize draw, which was held as part of the programme. She told Lim TV she was absolutely amazed at her win. The retail areas of the airport are still under construction, but officials say that they will be ready for business when operations officially start on November 17th. This evening, Paphos Mayor Savas Vergas is expected to announce the temporary location for a waste disposal site that will serve Paphos town only. The move comes after attempts to open a new district dump in the Mamonia area reached a deadlock owing to the residents' protests on grounds of hygiene. The Paphos Sewage Department has reminded customers that they must pay their bills by October 31st, otherwise a 20% surcharge will be added to the amount. Cyprus President Dimitris Christofias has said that the government is working on measures to combat any fallout on the island's tourism and development sectors. Christofias made the remark after he returned from Beijing, where he attended the 7th Asia-Europe meeting. Police News Now, two men have been arrested in connection with the theft of €23,000 worth of cigarettes from a kiosk. And finally, a reminder that tomorrow, October 28th, is a bank holiday commemorating Ohi Day, when Greece refused to allow Axis troops to invade the country in World War II. Banks, most shops and public offices will be closed. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again tomorrow with more news from Paphos.